Welcome to this tutorial on how to create a widescreen 16 by 9 aspect ratio in PowerPoint. The standard screen in PowerPoint has an aspect ratio of 4 by 3. Widescreen in PowerPoint has an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. You might be asking yourself, if I use a widescreen in PowerPoint, does that make my picture high definition? The answer is no. It simply makes the screen the same aspect ratio as an HD format, but it does not make the view a higher resolution or a high definition. Why would you want to use a widescreen 16 by 9 aspect ratio in PowerPoint rather than use the standard 4 by 3 aspect ratio? Well, first today, viewers perceive widescreen as being much more media standard. Also, your presentation will be viewed as being more current or high-tech. Each year, more people are going to widescreen as a standard. Next, you have more space for graphics, photos, videos, and text. Newer videos which use widescreen will fit in the widescreen layout. 16x9 HD video does not size up well in the standard 4x3 PowerPoint slide. Except for video, photo, and graphic layout, widescreen functions the same as the 4x3 format. To set up from a 4x3 ratio to a 16x9 ratio in PowerPoint is quite easy. In reality, all you are doing is changing the size of the slide or page, depending on what version of PowerPoint you are using. In PowerPoint 2003, you'll make the change by going to the File Page Setup. The standard 4 by 3 ratio in PowerPoint is a 10 inch width and a 7.5 height. Simply set the width to 8 inches and the height to 4.5 inches with the slide orientation set to landscape. Except for video, photo, and graphic layout, widescreen functions the same as the standard 4 by 3. Wait a minute. If the standard is already 10 inches by 7.5 inches, why don't I use the 10 inch width and just reduce the height? The reason is that PowerPoint 2003 will only allow you to put in tenths in the size. So in order to have an exact ratio, a lot of people use 8 inches, which when computed out ends up being 4.5 for the height. If you don't care about being exact, go ahead and use the 10 inch by 5.625 inches, which is the 10 inch width divided by the 16th width aspect size, which equals 0 0.625 inches. Then multiply that by the height aspect of 9, which equals a height of 5.625 inches. And the number will be rounded up to 5.65 inches in PowerPoint 2003. Now, if you're using PowerPoint 2007 or newer, simply go to the Design tab and select the Design tab and then move over to the left where it says Page Setup. Click on Page Setup. And now you'll see the width of the slide, the standard format, the 4x3, which is, and it says right here, 4x3, which is 10 inches by 7.5 inches. Simply go up to the bar, select the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and now all of a sudden your slide has been sized properly. Make sure it's landscape. Click OK. And it's as simple as that to create a widescreen 16 by 9 aspect ratio in PowerPoint 2007. Keep in mind that the 16 by 9 aspect ratio when creating photos and graphics. Use the formula of the width divided by 16 multiplied by 9 equals the height when sizing photos and graphics for a 16 by 9 slide. For example, if you have a photo that is 8 inches wide, divide the width, 8 inches, by 16, the aspect width, which equals 0 0.5 inches. Then multiply the 0 0.5 inches by 9, the aspect height, which will give you a height of 4.5 inches. 
I believe you'll find the 16 by 9 aspect ratio a better alternative to the standard 4 by 3 aspect ratio in PowerPoint. Thank you for watching this tutorial and check out our other tutorials on our site at www.abwmultimedia.com.